Dietary supplements are big business. Five billion dollars in sales every year. Four out of ten Americans use them every day. Now a congressional investigation has found a lot of familiar supplements could be contaminated. And that is not all. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with the latest. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. So this study, brand new study out, what did it look at? It looked at supplements, herbal supplements, commonly used by the elderly. That was really the target patient population. So we're talking about things like ginkgo, garlic, echinacea, ginseng, St. John's wort. They actually looked at 40 supplements wow. and they sought to test the purity or whether there were contaminants mm -hmm. as well as whether there were faulty, inaccurate or deceptive advertising or marketing you claims. You see this stuff all the time. All kinds of people use Absolutely. this stuff. Yeah. So what do they find out? Well, they tested 40 random common supplements, which is not a big number, so we have to qualify it by that, and found that 37 of the 40 supplements tested right. contained trace amounts of contaminants. We also have to mention the levels of those contaminants were well below the toxicity threshold okay. that's set by the EPA and the FDA. And sometimes we see contaminants in bottled water. Sure. But again, not the thing you want to hear, especially when you're talking about supplements that may be taken by the elderly. Well, you're sitting there and you're thinking because you're thinking this is a thing that's going to help me and there's some sort of at least a, a, a leap of faith of some notion of purity. And here are there contaminants in them? Right. And there are probably contaminants everywhere. When you talk about herbal dietary supplements, things like herbs and vitamins, mm -hmm. they are generally considered to be safe. So the FDA does not regulate their safety before they come to market unless they are qualified as containing a new ingredient or a new product. But they do supervise their safety once they're on the shelf. And the other thing they do, Harry, is they restrict these companies or mm. products from making any claims that they right. prevent, treat, or cure diseases. Okay, so in the in the final analysis here, as people are about to go to their shelf and either start to use them again or buy some more, what do you do to protect yourself? Well, buyer beware, first of all, if it claims to treat, prevent, or cure a disease, mm -hmm. absolutely that has not been proven and you want to look at that with a great des degree of skepticism. The other thing you want to do is look for something called a USP label, which is an independent nonprofit program which tests for purity and quality of these supplements and most importantly Harry anyone taking these supplements mm -hmm. needs to discuss any vitamins yeah. any herbs with their doctor because there can be interaction with other med especially Absolutely. with med medications of Absolutely. course all right Dr. Jennifer Ashton as always thank you, you so bet. much a lot happens early on the early show weekday mornings on CBS